interesting. So we've had a non-tummy question here, which is, um, this is not about boob weight because my boobs aren't big, but why do my boobs point outwards rather than together? Okay, have you ever looked at uh, people's chests and the actual shape of the chest? I don't mean the shape of the breasts, I mean the shape of their thorax, of their rib cage. So if you were to sh saw them in half, people have different shaped rib cages. Some are sort of these very rectangular rib cages, some of these very round rib cages. And if you've got a very round rib cage and you've got a breast and a breast, they're kind of already pointing outwards. So that's why your nipples may point outwards. Um, and that's important to recognize because if we then do breast augmentation on a person with a rib cage like that, then um, we will find that we are increasing the projection so the nipples point more outwards than they previously did. So when that's the case, we've got to say, look, if you have high projection implants, your nipples are gonna start pointing increasingly outwards and you may not be happy with that, you may not like it. And I did have one patient once yeah. who, um, I can't, I'm not even gonna say what her job was because it's, I just don't want to potentially identify her, but um, she had a rib cage that was oh, yes. flat on one side and pointed out like that. It was that kind of shape. So she was gonna be in a situation where if she had breast implants put in, one nipple was going to keep on pointing forward and the other one was going to point outwards increasingly. And that was going to look um, unusual. So I, I said to her, look, and I explained that, I explained the rationale. And I think we're gonna to need to do a little bit more to get you with a really nice outcome. And what we ended up doing in her case was actually fat grafting, but fat grafting a lot. And I fat grafted, so if my hands represent the, can I have your hands as well over mine? <laughs> so my hands represent the rib cage Don't get and me. Rebecca's hands uh, represent the muscle over it. Sorry, I'm then, then I fat grafted in the space there to plump out that muscle so that it all looked symmetrical afterwards and then you can put your hip that was as clear as mud right Sorry. but you get the idea I just desperately don't want to be on screen <laughs> no, that was really useful i'm sure that's illustrated the point so basically plump out one side so that then you could put implants on so i only fat grafted one side under the muscle just to plump it out as much as possible and uh, then you can do the implants on each side as normal and, and all was good um and that was a really good result actually yeah gotta say, definitely. that was a really good result